It's midday and we're following the medical emergency response team. They've just got the call that someone needs them. As the Chinook takes off, we have no idea where we're going or what we'll find. Squadron leader Sean Pascoe is the nurse on board. We have an anaesthetist or an A&E or an doctor, myself and uh, an RF medic and an RF paramedic. They're joined by the flight crew and a team of armed soldiers to protect them when they land. For Army doctor Major Matt Boylan, it's his first call out. There's a small amount of apprehension because you don't know what you're going to and you don't know what the situation is on the ground. Um, but the majority of it is just uh, the buzz. After just 20 minutes, we land. The soldiers fan out in case of attack and coming towards us, carried on a stretcher by his team, is a British soldier. It looks like his armoured vehicle has hit a mine. The casualty is Captain Anthony Harris. He's broken his elbow and both feet, but he is conscious. A lot of people you know, don't experience too much pain, especially in, in battle, some of the significant injuries. It's surprising how little pain they've got. But he was given the morphine really quite early by his mates and um, he looked really quite comfortable on his journey. I don't remember the bang. I remember, I remember being on the deck. When you're on board, it just, you're surrounded by people you know are specialists. So it felt, it felt really good to um, to have made it there and you know once you're on that helicopter they're going to keep you in a good way so it was, it was massively comforting. By strange coincidence it turns out the doctor already knows his patient. Obviously I uh, didn't recognise him because initially he was upside down to me um, and uh, he didn't recognise me because he had quite a lot of medication on board but uh, yeah we recognised each other on the ambulance and realised that actually we went to school together. Less than an hour after the call came in, Anthony's off the helicopter and arriving at Camp Bastion's hospital. We are probably the best in the world at what we do and we get there really quickly and, um, and sort these guys out really quickly. And statistically we've demonstrated that we've done you know, quite an incredible job over time, um, which is, you know, it makes us very proud of what we do. They came and landed in somewhere where it, you know, it was still unsafe and they came in to land and I can't really, you can't ask for more than that. For Captain Harris, his injuries mean an early return home, where he'll see his baby daughter for the first time. For the team that rescued him, though, within minutes, they're straight out on another emergency, once again risking their own lives to save others.